Hi, and welcome to Top Floor Studios in Gothenburg, Sweden. My name is Jacob Herman, and I'm going to talk a bit about the new IR pack for Bogren Digital that I have made together with my friend KJ Melgoza called The Heaviest Cab in the World. And uh, it is, in fact, the heaviest guitar cab ever made. It's pretty wild. It's made out of granite, and there are only four of them uh, made ever by um, German engineer Simon Mahler, who has a brand called Mahler Engineering. And it's, it's very unique. Uh, it has some really unique features. The, the first one that comes to mind is, of course, that it's made out of granite. It weighs a little under 300 pounds. And the reason why it's made out of granite is that that doesn't affect the sound as a regular cab because there's no vibration, so the vibration in the actual material of the cab doesn't affect the sound or color the sound as in other cabs. And there's also interchangeable speakers, so you can pull out and put in a new speaker and it takes like five seconds, it's pretty amazing. And you don't have to connect any wires or anything, you just <laughs> done. And it's a 212 cab, you can, it's like having many 212 cabs because you can have all these different combinations. Um, if you want to have two V30s, you can have two V30s. If you want to have one V30 and one Jensen, you can have that. If you want to run just the V30, you can run just that. If you want to run both of them at the same time, you can do that. So it's a very cool piece of equipment. And when we did this IR pack, me and KJ, I decided that we were going to be very like straightforward and and organized in how we did it. So what we did is we had uh, all these um, different speakers and then we chose, as you can see here, different things. Like we have the combinations folder, which I'll talk about later. But the different speakers are the Creamback, the EVM, the Jensen, the Swamp Thing, and the V30s. They were V30, that's the ones we chose. And every one of those folders have three mixed IRs and two raw. And the mixed ones are when we use the outboard EQs in the console, we record everything on this SSL console. And then the raw ones, we use no EQ. Um, and it's made with different mic angles and combinations and stuff. Then we have the folder called Raw Speakers, and this is all the five speakers with a mic in front of it in the fixed position, like a feet away to capture the whole speaker. It's a MyLab DC96C uh, microphone. And then we have this combinations folder, which is 10 IRs where we used combinations of different um, speakers uh, to make more like maybe experimental sounds or sounds with a very uh, defined use. Um, so you can choose to use the different speakers in combination or you can choose uh, the already combined versions or you can even choose, like I do sometimes, you choose different combinations of the combinations, so to speak, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, I have a song here that I thought I'd use to show you some of these IRs. And it's a song by Taylor Roberts, who's the guitar player for uh, Taproot and Riding With Killers. And this is a Riding With Killers song that he and I are working on at the moment. It's not a finished mix, but it's getting there. It also features uh, bassist James Lasku and uh, Devin Clark, who plays drums in Cane Hill. Anyway, here in the verse guitar, I've done a thing. I have a combination of the Dirty 30s, which is two uh, V30 in combination, combined with the one called Black Blimp Room. And the Black Blimp Room is a room mic. So it's a room, it's a cab in a room IR, basically. And I've done that, I've used that way of recording guitar cabs even before I started working with software amps and IRs and stuff. Um, Cause sometimes I want to blend in a room sound. It's not the same as adding a reverb. It's, it's very different. It's like when you record anything like drums or percussion or horns or whatever instrument, like uh, miking a room is a very different thing from close miking and blending that in is something I really enjoy. Um, 
And this is a guitar amp we recorded with a delay pedal into the amp and then um, I chose this combination of that room IR and Dirty 30s and then I panned them slightly left and right to make the sound a bit bigger and it sounds like this. Which is a cool sounding guitar, very like nasty, not, it's not supposed to sound close and nice, it's supposed to sound a bit gritty. In, in uh, combination with the rest of the instruments, it sounds like this. Pretty cool. Then in the uh, third verse, I have an, a whole other approach. There I'm using uh, the line signal into one of the Bowgrain uh, amp knobs, this one, which I really like. And uh, I disabled the cab in that and I used my own IRs and left and right. And this is uh, a combination of the Chunky Monkey and the Dirty 30s. They sound pretty similar, but in combination I feel that they, they really add to each other's sound, so to speak. So they sound like this. Completely, completely different from the first verse. Uh, and in the whole mix it sounds like this. While the first verse sounded like this. Then in the choruses, I have yet another approach. This song or this whole album is, is um, it's not experimental, but it's got some movement in the songs where I try to avoid a static sound. And that's where I feel that IRs can really help me um, change the sound slightly, but not obviously. Uh, changing IRs does a huge, huge uh, result for the guitar sound. So here I'm going uh, DI into another uh, software amp and then I'm using only the Like a Rock um, IR. But as you can see, this, these are left and right, as you can see I'm having um, bypassed instances of this IR loader uh, with, with different versions. So the, the, the second one has the Chunky Monkey only and then the third one has the cream back mixed combined with the Swamp Thing, one of the raw ones. And this is just so I can change back and forth and see what combination I like best in the uh, big picture while playing, like this. And then I have a center guitar that is playing just the riff, but no chords, just the notes of the riff, like this. And that's to bring a bit of focus to that sound, so it, even though I have hard pan left and right guitars, it becomes a bit more focused and in your face uh, while keeping that stereo vibe. And this is um, the DI going into the amp knob, uh, into this, and this is the, only the final encore DI used, and all together sounds like this. And then for this intro, the last thing I'm going to show is a pretty pretty funny thing. It's um, it was a mistake. Uh, Taylor just put his guitar and lead, leaned it against the uh, table, and it made sounds because it was strings were against the table. I think it was stressed or got a phone call or something. Um, and he forgot to turn the volume down, so when I record enabled the track again, uh, it sounded like this. And then when played uh, through a software amp into the IR loader, I chose that room mic again, the Black Blimp room take, left and right, but the right side uh, delayed by 20 milliseconds, so it hits at slightly different times, which gives this super um, weird stereo facey vibe. And the soft ramp has a lot of um, 
effect. So it sounds more like a synthesizer and it becomes a cool intro for the song. So it sounds like this. Well, there you have it. That's me talking shortly about the new IR pack, Heaviest Cab in the World by me and KJ Maldoza for Bogren Digital. I hope you enjoy the IR pack and uh, I hope that it brings a lot of happiness to you and your mixing. So, as always, I end with saying, happy mixing. <laughs> <laughs>